Also in the news at 10, a Springfield-based production crew was recently detained by officers in Texas after interacting with children who have been separated from their families at the border. Missouri State University professor Andrew Klein and a film crew traveled to El Paso to document the conditions of kids being held at a camp. Keller 10's Bria Douglas sat down with Klein. Bria, what was his reaction to what he saw? David and Heather, he's very disturbed that kids are being held in what he calls internment camps on United States soil. And once his documentary is finished, he wants others to be just as outraged and to do something about it. I'm appalled by what, uh, by what we're doing uh, to these families. And I want to show that. Like this man who Andrew Klein's production team captured during their visit to the Tornillo camp. At the camp, his crew filmed a line of kids walking in the fenced-in area. I want to uh, uh, point cameras at, at these kids uh, inside this camp and see what their lives are like. And I want to point cameras at those guards and see their faces. Um, I think it's important for people to see. It's, a, it's an internment camp. After filming the kids, Klein's crew was detained for an hour by the sheriff's department for talking to them. The guards came and put a stop to that immediately. And in fact, before the day was out, um, the facility put up black plastic sheeting along the whole back of the fence to prevent us from shooting any more video. Uh, through the fence. Klein isn't the only one using film to try and spark a change. Back in June, he shot protesters participating in the Families Belong Together march as police looked on. A hard time finding anybody who was happy about these kids being separated from their families. And Klein is concerned that the separation will continue because of what he's captured on video at the Tornillo camp. Construction um, material moves in constantly. Uh, temporary trailer housing moves in constantly. It is growing like crazy despite um, the government saying that it's supposed to close down by the end of the year. Klein wants to finish his documentary by February with the hope of showing it at the Moxie Cinema. All right, Rhea Douglas tonight for us. Thank you.